I loved it. I think he is awesome. He's unbelievable. It was phenomenal. Great. Exceeded my expectations. And he's going to help me automate my business and take it to the next level. But my goal is not to give agents a bunch of uh, ideas of things they could or maybe would do down the road someday. I want to give them relevant information with real life tools, real life technology, real life action items that they can do right now that will make an impact on their business. I'm very well prepared. I know exactly what I'm talking about. I know what I want to try and accomplish today. I have specific goals and I prepared for them so that when we go through the presentation today, we can get to the ultimate end. And that is to empower you to be able to do something new in your business as a result of being here. I want you to do something different. A lot of speakers out there have the same message and they deliver it time after time after time. Well, my message is always unique, it's always timely, and it's always relevant. Because I speak on the latest technology, I share with them sales skills, I teach them the power of the relationships they have and how to manage those relationships with systems. I want systems for everything. Systems for prospecting, systems for follow-up, systems for working my past clients, systems, systems, systems. I want to be able to generate business when everybody else is wondering why the market's changing and their business is slowing down. That's why I want to be able to turn my systems up and have my best year ever in real estate. I believe that if you systematize your business, you can scale your business to any level. He motivates you, he teaches you how to do it, and then he gets the bottom line results, which are listings and sales in the business through teaching these people what they need to say, how they need to go about it, and then helping them to get leads through the systems he puts in place. The movement, as everyone knows, in real estate is toward internet marketing and technology related activities. And to be inside the bubble, I tell them, you've got to master these programs and these systems. I get emails daily from my coaching clients who are generating more leads than they can handle and they're trying to deal with buyer's agents now and how they can get buyer's agents to handle all their internet leads. If you have the right system, people will tell you who they are. From a bottom line standpoint, you know, he, he, is, he has really opened the eyes of our sales associates to, uh, to the sense that technology is something that is a, basically a barrier of entry into the market. You've got to use technology if you want to have staying power in real estate. The bottom line is the market is changing. The consumer is more technology savvy. Our competitors are more technology savvy. So what are we doing as agents and brokers to arm ourselves to the teeth to be able to compete in this new technology world? Prices are high, agents are working very hard, and the competition is very stiff. So for them to have an edge with technology uh, as a result of this program is going to just double and triple their business. I work with people who make a lot of money on the internet. They hire me to come in and help manage their business and I'm going to show you their strategy, both online and offline marketing, of how you not only drive business, how you capture that business, how you incubate those leads and turn them into real people. And those real people eventually become relationships, and the relationships are who we do business with. Coming into real estate with a sales attitude will put you light years ahead of the majority of your competitors because most of them think they're in the service business. I say if you can't close, you don't have anyone to service. If you don't know how to sell yourself, you have no clients. Agents are showing up to a sales presentation and they're doing things the way they've done it for the last 20 years. Where today the consumer's changed. They don't want a paper CMA with a cover look shot of what you used to look like in high school. They want to know what's in it for them. I believe in increasing your value, not decreasing your price. He set the price up front and he just kept piling on more value. What is it that you do that increases your value? How are you blowing your clients away with the services you provide? That's what we got to do if you want to hold on to your commissions, folks. You couldn't sit through one of these technological seminars and just listen to the nuts and bolts of what Burl teaches without his sense of humor. Give me an example of a scary error message. Fatal data error. Let's analyze that. Fatal. Is that good? No. You've had a fatal data error and it only gives you one button. What does it say? Oh, it just says OK. How do you feel about that? OK. And then it goes away and you're left to ponder what just died with this thing, right? I found that one of the most effective teaching tools that I have is the ability to make people laugh. If I can get them to laugh at me or get them to laugh with me or even the, the, the best is when they will laugh at themselves and the way they do things, then it creates the most effective environment for learning. I get done with a seminar, a guy comes up to me and says, hey bro, you know all this technology stuff? I can't use it. I said, why not? He goes, that's just not how I do business. <laughs> I said, well, how do you get your listings? He says, that's easy. I just knock on the door and say, hey, you got to move.
We all get the same objections all the time, right? I want to think about it. I want to pray about it. I can't. Can I get a copy of that? These are all the. Aren't these all the normal ones? No one ever. No one ever says I want to pray about it. Oh man, come to Utah. How about go to Nashville, Tennessee? I'm in Nashville, Tennessee, and a lady goes, oh, that happens here all the time. I don't even know what to do. I said, well, well what do you usually do? Another lady raised her hand. She says, well, that's easy. I just get on my knees and say, you want to say it or you want me to? <laughs> Isn't this a great business? I mean, real estate just rocks. He's very well versed. He knows the subject inside and out, and he kind of knows the objections before the agents even raise their hand. Take it to the next level. He can't miss it. <laughs> I mean, there's so many things going on. We just don't have the ability to hear him all in one session. Today we got him all in one session. He's contagious. When you hear him, you just want to go out and just make a lot of money. I just love what I do. I love speaking. I love real estate. I'm passionate about the change that happens in agents' lives. That to me, that makes all the difference. That's why I do what I do. That's the magic.